The six and a half kilogram silver wreath was placed at the gravesite of killed Ukrainian Sitch riflemen almost a hundred years ago. During the First World War, they fought alongside the Austro-Hungarian army. During the 1920s, it was discovered hidden away in Ukraine's National History Museum. I think scientists in the Soviet era may not have specifically focused their attention on this exhibit, so that's why it wasn't destroyed. Historians decided to restore it in time for the centennial anniversary of the Ukrainian Revolution. It's dedicated to those fighters who fought for our independence. We realized that it was our duty to restore this wreath. One of the specialists said the condition of the historical piece was almost beyond repair. It arrived in a fragmentary form. There were more than 120 elements. Honestly, we weren't worried about how much restoring it would need. It was just seeing the amount of work and the deplorable state in which we received it. Yes, we understood the full responsibility and burden that rested on our shoulders. So he says it was one of the most difficult projects he ever had to work on. We made a mock-up so that we don't experiment with the real exhibit and these leaves. We made it out of the same grade of silver and conducted our experiments on it. Here we worked on specific areas, figuring out the correct hammered connections without risking the wreath and its elements. Three artists worked on this restoration project for a year. Every branch and leaf was soldered by hand. You can see them shaking from the slightest, the slightest breath of wind. The restored wreath, made of 870 fineness silver, is to be exhibited abroad. When the exhibition curators expressed the desire to display the wreath at a Ukrainian museum in New York, the stance of our museum, and it was echoed by the government, was that before this wreath is displayed abroad, we must first let Ukrainians see it here at home. The exhibit, called the Dedication to the Knights of the Ukrainian People's Republic, also contains weapons, photographs, awards and the original of the Unification Act, the agreement signed by the Ukrainian People's Republic and the West Ukrainian People's Republic. Reported by Artem Homenko for UATV.